on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural process instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. What we are looking at is good and evil, right and wrong. New world order. A new world order. A new world order. A new world order. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, we're here live. Weekends, two-hour transmission, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Weeknight, 7 o'clock, InfoWars Nightly News. All right, folks, thank you for joining us. Uh, we've been reporting on Bank of America, Wells Fargo, all of them basically trying to stop you from wiring money out of the country. All those announcements the last few months. And now the big banks are announcing that when you have a bake sale or you have a food truck or whatever the case is, that when you deposit cash, uh, you've got to show ID when you deposit it, even though it's got an assigned bank account, even though it's got an assigned deposit point uh, into the person's account, you're going to be treated like a criminal for the database. This is all part of capital controls and to track any type of underground economy. 
Meanwhile, the big mega banks launder $500 billion a year in North America alone of drug money on record and don't get in trouble. But you depositing $5 will be treated like a criminal. And a lot of big banks are saying they're not going to even let you deposit cash anymore. They want to get rid of cash or make you pay and penalize you. So we reported on this last week, Chase imposes new capital controls on cash deposits. Now, one of my crew members brought this in this morning. We already had a screenshot of this letter, but we actually have the physical card that um, they were given where you can't just drive in and put the cash in an envelope in the, in the night drop. Uh, you've got to wait till the day and drive through and show them your ID so it can be put in the database. Important news. See, it's not, it's not police state changes treating you like a prisoner. It's news. Important news about cash deposits. When making a cash deposit, please deposit only into personal accounts that list your name. Be ready to show a valid ID for deposits for personal and business accounts. Please talk to us about alternative deposit options. We're happy to help. J.P. Morgan Chase, N.A. member, FDIC, and Federal Reserve shareholder, I should add. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is going on. That is unfolding. That is what is happening. And we live in a completely rig system that is accelerating towards internal capital controls. Another telltale sign on our road to tyranny. I want to get to some other news here. Uh, but first off, I know the guys gave it to me, but I can't find it. Will you give me another video list, uh, please? Thank you very much. I know there's some video clips and reports that I want to um, that I want to get to as well. And we do have the winner up on Infowars.com right now of the NSA TSA tyranny contest because the NSA and TSA. I've been threatening people with arrest, suing people, and threatening suits uh, that are critical of them. And so we funded back in December a $10,000 one place, one, one winner, first place winner, prize, and hundreds of great videos got produced. Everyone is a winner uh, that entered the contest, and some of the videos got half a million views. Some of the biggest ones, a lot of the others got hundreds of thousands of views. So millions of people ended up seeing this. And you've done a great job. The winner is Dick Johnson, TSA Wonderkind, uh, by David Kirk West, writer, director, cinematographer. And uh, it deals with the pre-screening. That's really NSA pre-screening, where they track everything you do and use the TSA as the front to data mine all your information. That's now causing a lot of controversy, obviously, because it's totally uh, unconstitutional. Uh, we're going to be airing uh, part of this a little bit later on the show, though it's more obviously uh, in constructive and inducive to see how good it is watching it. The video uh, is up on Infowars.com uh, right now. Again, uh, we probably want to check my computer in here because even an hour after an article goes up, it won't show me new stories on this computer. It's very strange because I, I know he put it up before the show even started. And you can, as you can see on my computer, uh, it is not the top story. But on your computer out there, it is the top story uh, up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to send it out on Twitter and on Facebook. And it's a good way to fight back against their tyranny to send this on to the rest of the folks on your Facebook, to send this on to the rest of the folks on your Twitter. But coming up in the next break, I will tweet it and I will Facebook it uh, out there for everybody. Now, continuing uh, here with the news, I want to get your take on Obamacare. From Obamacare supporters, uh, you know that they promised you could keep your doctor, you, you could have pre existing conditions, you wouldn't be kicked off your insurance. It would cut the cost down to the cost of a phone bill or cable bill. Of course, it's done the opposite. And now the IRS is announcing they will be taking it out of your bank account and out of your wages on the IRS website. Headline, IRS warns Obamacare tax must be paid with tax return. And, uh, the, or they will, they will take it and give you penalties and interest 
uh, with the collection agency for the private Federal Reserve. And the Supreme Court has ruled this is a tax to the offshore uh, banks openly. So I think that's really one of the biggest stories uh, out there today. And, and the bigger story is why isn't it being repealed? Only Rand Paul and Stockman of Texas and uh, Cruz of Texas and Walter Jones of North Carolina and a few others are actually calling for its repeal. John Boehner and others are doing nothing. And the argument with some blue bloods is some of the so-called uh, country club Republicans, the idiots, or those that get money off government contracts, oh, Obamacare will hurt Obama, so we need to let it go through. That's completely immoral, A. B, the Republican leadership helped write it. It's for foreign insurance companies and offshore banks. It's criminal. And so you will all be held accountable as well for this monstrosity that's designed to destroy our healthcare system further, bankrupt the country, and make people basically become dependent on the system and go on welfare and get their hours cut from 40 to 25 hours. The list goes on and on. I mean, this is such an abomination, and the Tea Party's going to use it to sweep to power if we get behind them. And I mean the real libertarian Tea Party that Ron Paul started, that I helped start when he first ran for office back in 2007. That's what we're talking about is the real Tea Party, ladies and gentlemen, of eight, nine years ago. Not the one the Republicans tried to create uh, to absorb things. That failed. And so now the whole system's coming after him. And I know I talk about that a lot, but 2014 is the key election year. Balance of power. You've got to get libertarians in as Republicans to block this whole thing. And that's why the enemy says that's the main threat and is spending all their time trying to beat it. They discussed that at Bilderberg meetings the last three years. They are scared. Here's the toll-free number to join us, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. And we will get you up and on the air here today. But I want to get your take on all of this. By the way, the Austin Police Chief is going to be in studio coming up uh, for 30 minutes uh, in the last hour today. And I thought I'd play this clip where he said at least they're not sexually assaulting people from one of his uh, press conferences. Uh, here's the headline, police chief forced to apologize over comments saying that at least a jogger didn't have to deal with police who sexually assaulted her like other police departments have recently been caught doing. And the footage is out there of the woman jogging with the earbuds in on her iPad or iPod. She can't hear them, so they tackle her, slam her on the ground, and take her to jail. I mean, it's bad enough to tackle somebody because you said they're, quote, jaywalking. And, 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 but then why didn't you still give her a ticket? Why'd you take her to jail? Because it's all about the government's dominance and its authority and its power and teaching you not to stand up. Uh, here is an excerpt of what the police chief said. Ricky Melendez and Chris Quintero were sitting across the street. Quintero doesn't think the officer did run up beside her, like Acevedo said. I think he grabbed her slightly from behind, and it's it may not be from far behind, but enough to where she didn't notice who was grabbing her right away. Whether or not he grabbed her by behind, it doesn't matter. It's not relevant. At some point, she knows it's a cop. The cop asked her a lawful question that she is lawfully required to answer, and she didn't. That's why she went to jail. Acevedo says the woman was only arrested for failure to identify, not resisting arrest. He says if he had arrested her, he wouldn't have been so generous. And at the end of the day, that officer has to stop him somehow. She, he didn't tackle her to the ground. Now they jumped on you her. Know, uh, it's kind of interesting what passes for controversy in Austin, Texas. Thank you, Lord, that it's a controversy in Austin, Texas, that we actually had the audacity to touch somebody by the arm and tell them, oh my goodness, Austin police were trying to get your attention. In other cities, cops are actually committing sexual assaults on duty. So I thank God that this is what passes for a controversy in Austin, Texas. I mean, I kind of agree with that statement. Um, that, but that, that, that just because other departments are so bad on average, big departments doesn't mean that it's okay. And by the way, they did grab her and twist her arm on her back and put her on the ground. So more, more baloney from Arde Saveda um, coming up in studio. That's not the main reason I was getting him on. We got a report we're going to premiere later today if we have time, uh, or it'll be on the Nightly News tonight. Jakari Jackson went out yesterday to a man on the street asking folks what they thought about it. 
in the you know the point is police in the past wouldn't have acted like this and, and a lot